Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Nimbatus where in the previous episode we went ahead and did some more missions in a previous system and then also ignored the space snake because we don't have the time, patience, conscience, technology nor will to deal with that. We then moved to this system here and there's only one planet here and it was to pick up some barrels although there were some enemies and we ended up making the uh, GD pickup too which is slightly different from the original version. It's got um, less um, missiles which means it's more of a precise weapon and and it's got some more armor on the outside to um, absorb shots and we just failed on the last hurdle doing that but um, I went ahead and completed it out of uh out of game, well, actually not recording rather. So uh, we're going to go for the next one, which is, this one is Destroy a Transmitter, it's an easy mission, so we'll uh, probably try the, uh, people have been asking me to try the Mining Drone in a combat role, I don't think this is going to work, but let's just give it a go. So this is our standard Mining Drone, you press left click and it will just chomp through pretty much anything it can find, and good grief, it also does not like clipping into uh, things like that. So we're going to mine away in here, and ah, uh, definitely not going to work, because the only way to deal with these things is to uh, melee them and uh, yeah, as you can see, that um, causes a lot of explosions, but uh, it does seem to ooh, slowly, slowly, slowly chew, and uh, then we're out of ammo. Yeah, that's not going to work, not on this one, so we'll retry that. Actually, does retry allow me to pick a different drone? I don't think it does, no. Leave planet. Um... Instead, I'm going to select drone, and I'm going to change up the GD2. We are going to duplicate the drone, and instead we're going to call it the GD... Um... Uh, uh, assault because we're going to edit this and we're going to do we're going to do something on the front that might be a little bit unorthodox so we're going to delete um, this entire front section so we're just going to get rid of that entire front section we're going to get rid of that and that and then we're going to put these in a better um, formation so we'll put them there and there and further down like so and what I'm going to do is have a, a bit on the front where it's um, it's going to be unorthodox, shall we say. So we're going to have a another block here. And then what we want to do is get a motorized hinge. And we connect it there and then we put it right at the front. And the reason we want to do that is we want to be able to, be able to attack from a fairly, fairly decent range but also have these exploding things away from the vehicle so we're going to have things like blaster basics and we are going to place them in such a way that we can um, have like a wheel on them so we'll rotate these round and place them like so so you need to duplicate them move them around these will all have their own um, I'll just have an on button for them uh, and I'll get that sorted in a moment. Looks like I'm not going to be able to place that there, which is a shame. But I might be able to pull it forward just a little bit. Yes, we can. That is perfectly fine. And uh, by the way, I have no idea if this is going to work. This is just a random test. So, what we want is a button. So when we turn it on, it will just go and spin, 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 fire, 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 fire. And hopefully, these don't hit me because, uh, well, the lasers don't. So we will have a toggle button on that one. So we want a not an if gate, we want a on off switch, so we will rotate that round, we'll connect it to there and then put it there. So the on button is left and the off button is right and the uh, output is space and then all of these will be space like that, alright? So when we start firing it is going to hopefully, well, crack on and do just that and then our rotate right will be space as well so if we've got a test flight uh, we can move around happily and then if we press space or left click rather they well they rotate round but it's not entirely what I was after because they are following the direction of the cursor um, which isn't working so we'll change that to fixed all of these to fixed and that might then work and hopefully we'll be able to deal with anything that comes in but let's just see what it looks like. We might change these to something else. Test flight. There we go. That's like a protective... It's like a sort of protective um, area, isn't it? Although, do you know what might have been better? Flamethrower. Um, actually, I know, what you th I know what you're saying. Why not both? Why not both indeed? We might find out why not both in a bit, but let's just try it. <laughs> um, so we'll put it right next to the other ones. 
Oh, we can put it right next to them as well, like that. That's great. That's much better than what I expected. Mm, those ones are going to have to stick out like that. Just because of the grid system in it. Can they go back? No, they can't. I thought they couldn't. Right. What's this going to look like? It's probably going to look cool. It's probably going to be very ineffectual. Test flight. Fire. Oh, I can't be dealing with that. <laughs> right, so that didn't work. <laughs> Today's beverages a cup of tea. That just didn't work at all. Um, right. <clears throat> Redesign mode. Um, let's get rid of these. And we'll pull these further back. Yeah, that, that didn't function, did it? Well, I mean, if that's what we're aiming for, fair enough. But we sort of weren't. So, test flight. Right, yeah, that's that right, that's not that's not too bad. It is a big Catherine Wheel of Death. Um I wish I could increase the speed of this motorized hinge, but sadly I cannot. Um do you know what would be better than one of these? Like like two of them? And do you know what better than two of them? Like three of them? Um Am I am I really gonna do this? Is this really something that I'm attempting? Oh go on then. No, no, they don't look too happy, do they? Okay, back, back, back. Um, right, let's put them out of the way. Like that. Oh, good grief. Um, <laughs> they don't really work. Um, actually, there's no really about it. They definitely, definitely don't work. Um, it might be to do with... Um... Garbage design. Yeah, it's probably to do with that actually, isn't it? Yeah, no, uh, right. Okay, let's let's attach them to a different block So these will attach to that block Like that you see rather than the one at the front That is much more stable Right, okay Okay, um save and exit. Let's Let's try this. I don't think it'll work. Do you know why? Because it's too close range. Um. Oh, oh, it's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a shake on. Let's turn it on to see if that fixes it. Yeah, turning it on does fix it. Right, okay. So we're going to head towards the planet. There is Death Moth. Turn this on. Um, Death Moth is happily just coming towards us. This is causing no damage, and we can we can pretty much categorically say that that design is absolutely useless in every sense of the word. What I am going to try actually is see how far I can go under the ground. And why does that why does that one here always always sort of go a bit iffy? I don't know why. It's just that one though. Anyway, let's see if we can go through the ground. So let's uh, how good is it from for mining? Um, it's not too bad, but you know what it does? It runs out of power immediately. Right, that might be the issue. Actually, it's not the issue. It's not the issue. It's just that it's absolutely terrible in every way. But we're gonna edit. We're gonna duplicate that because I like the idea of that one. And we're gonna rename the original to Flame. Um, <laughs> right, and then the Assault will edit that one, and we'll get rid of these things. So let's go with our original idea of making something that really just does assault from. Uh, I wouldn't say long range, but just just fires as much as it can. Um, so I mean, we had we have had rockets before, but we haven't had a lot of rockets, like unbelievable amount of rocket. Um, fixed forward. Actually, no, we could probably cursor that. Um, and let's just basically do this. Um, that should be fine. We're gonna group that to there, and then there we are. Is that about right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And um, duplicate. One, two, three, four. Okay, test flight. And. Yep, that is just happily bombarding pretty much anything. That's sort of what we want. And also, the power is not too bad, but we could probably do with a little bit more. So let's. 
do that. So we'll say power and we'll connect it to that one and then power and connect it up to that one. There we are. Um, are any of these red? No, not really. I think it is just the central one. Anyway, let's save and exit. Let's try that one. So we'll, we'll, this one is now the assault mode. So because of the long range nature of the missiles, we should just be able to find our target and just fire. The problem is it doesn't fire in the direction of the mouse, so I might have to change that. I thought um, this might be okay, but there's our bombarding away. Um, it's t it's certainly taking out the planet. Um, yeah, we've gone for a sort of destroy all scenario. Um, but I mean, if it functions, what what I do tend to do is fly the wrong way all the time. Um, yeah, that that is definitely functional. I mean, if a scorched earth. Exterminatus policy is what we were going for, then we've certainly achieved that. I think the Grand Inquisitors of the Imperium of Man would be very, very proud of our creation here. Or is it heresy? Hmm. There's certainly Xenos getting destroyed. Um, and as is most of the ground and. <laughs> And um, back to the Nimbatus. Um, yeah, that was quite an easy one. What's this one here? Oh, that's got a bit. Uh, what's this one? Hard. Collect all metallic bio barrels back. What's the other one? That is a sumo one, sadly. So we can't do that. We can go here, though. Let's travel to this one further back. Uh, collect metallic bio barrels again. Let's go back over. We're just going to see if there's any more ones to um, like destroy things. A hard collect art oh, all collect but metallic bio barrels which we have uh, maybe exhausted ourselves with oh but there's two here ah right revenge of the space snake go on then um so this is yes definitely destroy the snake egg so we will go with the assault because it does seem to um function quite happily as a as a system of destruction actually you know what i will do i'll i'll leave that planet i'll select the drone and edit that and I am going to change these to Cursor because we could then simply hover over the planet and just do a broadside on it. Even though these are not on the side, they're on the front, but you don't hit yourself. So you could just happily, you know, fire that way. Right, that should be fine. Launch this one. And now instead of having to point the thing down, we could just literally do this. Yeah, that will function. Excellent. Okay. But we still need to see the target. Oh, speaking of targets, we do have some coming in here. There we go. So we will hover within range of... Oh. Be wary of those. Um, I believe there is a hive down here, so let's go ahead and try and mitigate its usefulness. There we go. That's been dissolved. We'll head this way. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> when one of them goes up, they all go up, so... That's too close. Oh, that was very, very close. I mean, if we were going for form over function, certainly not achieve that. If we are going for absolute reign of terror incarnate, then, well... 10 out of 10 gold standard, really, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, that might have something to say about that, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Abort. 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 Right. Okay. Well, we've got one of the eggs. No, no. We've got three eggs down, apparently. I haven't even seen the other two. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, it's going to catch me. It's not as maneuverable, though. So I can go the other way. Um, I'm also out of energy. No, I'm not out of energy. I'm out of um, fuel. So I'm just going to go the other way, quite frankly. Right, there we go. Yeah, this isn't the the design with good longevity. Hang on, are we thrusting to one side here? We did seem to be going a different way there, and I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking on the ship. It doesn't seem to have suffered damage. So I'm just going to 
hold it here for now. And recharge. This has still got the gatherers on, so we could, if we wanted to, actually start gathering some resources. But, um... My main goal, really, is just these snake eggs. Good grief. I mean, I'll be honest, it's super fun. <laughs> oh, snake, 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 snake's here. Right, all right, I'm sort of stuck in again, aren't I? Right, the best thing to do is just straight through it like that. And then run out of fuel, right. Hopefully, it's not going to follow us. It doesn't tend to go up much. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so hurt here. Right. Up. I'm hoping... It doesn't want to follow us this high up. Whew. <laughs> it all, almost reminded me of Cap uh, Kerbal Space Program then when we were going up. As in we were heading up and up and up and up and... Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, <laughs> running out of fuel. <laughs> I really like playing Kerbal Space Program. Oh, God, we are so screwed here. Uh, just, just shoot and run, shoot and run, shoot and run. We've got no things to stop and like that. Yeah, I really enjoyed Kerbal Space Program, but after watching people who know what they're doing, it's sort of disconcerting, and I don't really play it that much anymore. <laughs> right, so there's... Oh, we've lost the side thrusters. Oh, and the thing's coming as well. There it is! Yeah. We've lost some side thrusters. There's a problem. We're on six eggs of ten, so we could still do this. Oh, hang on, what was that that just came off? Oh, that's the control systems. I can't turn the ship anymore. And the back thrusters are gone. Darn it. Okay. Uh, leave planet. Select drone. Edit the drone. More fuel, basically, and that's all that that's all it should require. Um, I'm going to take off these. I'm going to take off those bits. I'm going to rotate that round. And I'm going to have... Uh, Deletion of those, pull it forward. Those can go in there, actually. Like that. Go back to there. And then, um... We'll just duplicate these back like so. You can see how quick it is just to make anything you want, really. Within, you know, certain limitations, naturally. And there we go, there's the armoured side on it. Excellent, right, that's fine. Um, anything else we need apart from a clue? Uh, no, I think we're fine. Save, launch, and here we go. The explosive moth creatures, or whatever you want to call them, they don't seem to be providing too much of a obstacle. And I heard the snake over this way. Yeah, I can hear a burying, a burying, a burying, burrowing over there. So I'm going to head the opposite way. But it can go go through the planet, and it does. I think it does just randomly follow you. So moth creatures. We have to take these out because otherwise we'll just never uh, we'll never get anywhere because the one will sneak up behind us, and we'll be. Annihilated. Right, so the boom moths are dead. There's the snake. It shouldn't attack us because we're not attacking the eggs. Depends how vengeful it is. We haven't yet attacked any eggs. Oh, okay, that's just changed. That's, I think that did actually... Did that speed up? I'm pretty sure it's it has... Um, increased in pace. Oh, it's increased in anger. Oh, God! Um, and I'm assuming you can't destroy it. Right. Oh, we've lost all the fuel again. Oh, no, that's just not working. Okay. Um, we might 
have to have put even more thrusters on it. That's becoming even more of an issue than I expected. One. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's do what I did originally on these. Um, we don't need the coolant, don't need the coolant. We do, however, need to move that to there and we'll duplicate it. That's an interesting way of. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's it. That is an interesting place to put it. Really? Do I really think that's a good idea? Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing it's got some forward go juice. Oh, oh, yes! Yes, it's got some speed on it. That's good. Now, there's an egg over there, so we'll plaster that. That's going to get Big Snake really angry. Oh, look at this. Now it's got now we got some speed. Um the problem is we've now got enough speed to get ourselves into trouble. Um So yeah, let's keep an eye on that. How is energy doing? Not very well. So I'm just going to bail. Oh, look at the speed of that. That's great. Remember these fuel tanks do reload. We're slowly going down because of gravity. Generic space attraction. Ooh, it does follow us, but we can outmaneuver it. Yes. Yes. We have better top speed and indeed acceleration than a snake. Who would have thought? Not exactly a Not exactly a global achievement, isn't it? What's your claim to fame? I am faster than a snake. Well, good for you. Right, so keep going. We still have to get close to the ground, sadly, because we need to know where stuff is. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, can't follow us, and it tops out there. Hi, mate. You all right? Can you kill it? You definitely can't. Nah, well. All right, I'm going to spin round, and goodbye. Because of the speed of this thing, I can be on the other side in, like, 20 seconds, so... Yeah, that's good. Space Drone GTR Cosworth. What we got going here. Turbo, probably, as well. Um, what we are going to do is get ourselves some fuel. <laughs> we'll just sit in here. <laughs> Our little cradle of safety. Okay, there we are. Right, so. Oh, the snake's over here now. Oh, come on, I'm only trying to destroy... You know. Random eggs. It's not as if it's spit... Oh, it is. Ah, oh, it is its eggs. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually realise it's um, banging from like sort of left to right there. It's like a weird 3D effect. Look at that, it's actually trying to chase us. It will catch us eventually because it's got unlimited stamina, I'm guessing, and I don't have unlimited fuel. So I'm just going to top out here and wait. Yeah, this is much better. See, I'd be tempted now to make a very modular ship. So a one that has engine pods that we can place wherever we want and things like that. Right, I'm hoping that it's no longer agged for the... Ooh, good grief. Uh, no longer following us. No, it doesn't seem to be. Right, we can see where we've been by the crater marks, so... There's an egg. So it's going to be a bit annoyed now. Ooh, it's definitely annoyed. Oh, no, 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 no. It's following us. Why is it following us? Hang on. No, this is... No, that, no, I'm not having that. I'm not liking that. There we go. Outmaneuvered. Um, what are we on for eggs? Six eggs? Oh, no, just, just zip past that. And we've lost all fuel. And we've stopped. Right, okay. This mission is really, really difficult. <laughs> I'm going to need... I'm going to need a lot more, I think. Um, yeah, we can't... We can no longer maneuver. We're going to need 
a lot of luck, actually. We can't turn... Oh, we can turn right. Uh, six eggs. Is this doable? Yes, it is. Um, so, back up. What we have to do is fly back. Like that, because it's it's trending towards going like that. <laughs> do we really want to try and limp through the mission to, to get another six eggs? Oh, where are the eggs? Where would they be? And thrust. No. Oh. Um, we've done a full. We've checked all of the planet, apart from like down in the. Inside it. That's something we haven't done. Would they be buried? It is a possibility, but quite frankly, doing it with this is not going to work, I don't think. Um, right, so we're going to leave that one there. And we'll probably come back to that planet. <laughs> we might attempt another one over here, like the pick up the uh, pick up the crates or something. Um, but I'll leave it to you. What do you think we should do? Where do you think we should go? Uh, there's crate pickups. There's that one there. Um, there's two more ones, but I haven't made an automated bot, and I'm not going to. So uh, let me know what you think and where we should go. Or do you want to call it there? Just, well, as always, uh, just drop it in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.